Conservative Party leadership hopefuls debated in Halifax over the weekend. One of those people aiming to become your next Prime Minister joins me tonight. Please welcome Wellington Halton Hills MP Michael Chong. <laughs> Now, Michael, uh, you grew up on a farm in a small town in rural Ontario. You've helped birth baby cows. You have a farm. You're a half Chinese redneck. I love it. <laughs> I've never seen one before. Um, so your father uh, was at one point a lumberjack. That's right. Uh, you once worked at a Canadian tire. Yeah. Uh, you worked for the NHL. I did. Your company produces Canadian Heritage Minutes. You may be the most Canadian candidate ever. <laughs> Now, so you are the son of a Chinese immigrant and a Dutch immigrant as well. So you must love standing on a stage during a debate while Kelly Leach goes on and on about how terrifying immigrants are. <laughs> you like that? I, d <laughs> I don't. <laughs> no? Now, after the recent uh, tragedy that happened in Quebec, you said that the mosque attack I is no accident. It's a direct result of uh, demagogues and wannabe demagogues playing to the fears and prejudices. Now, those are strong words. I'm going to go out on a limb here, and I'm going to say that perhaps you meant when you said demagogue uh, Donald Trump and wannabe demagogue uh, Donald Trump impersonator Kelly Leach. <laughs> if you become prime minister, though, um, and Donald Trump finds out that you once referred to him as a demagogue <laughs> and somebody explains to him what a demagogue is, <laughs> you could be in trouble. <laughs> now, if Kelly Leach, now let's talk about Kelly, would you ever sit in a Kelly Leach caucus? I'm committed to my party and I will serve whomever the party elects as leader. You would bow down before the Dark Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that! <laughs> Slay the dragon! <laughs> Speaking of dragons, Kevin O'Leary, too. Now, I don't think that Kevin is all that in touch with what's happening in Canada in general. Uh, he posted a video of himself shooting a gun in Miami during the funerals of three of the victims killed in the mosque. I think we have, we have that. You said we have a candidate then who thinks he's Rambo. And you also said that that video will cost us the next election. Will it? Well, I think any soccer mom that sees that kind of a video in the next election is going to run into the arms of the Liberal Party. And that's why I don't think his judgment is the right kind of judgment to lead the party. We need to have a leader that will broaden the Conservative Party, that will include Canadians of all races, religions and creeds, and Canadians from all regions of the country. You want the party leaders to have less power. You're for carbon tax, right? Uh, you stand against the Trump-style demonization of immigrants. You're pro-choice. You believe in climate change. And you're talking to me on the CBC. <laughs> You want to be conservative leader, but Michael, maybe it's time for you to come out of the political closet. I think you might be a liberal. <laughs> I don't think so. You know, we're the party of Stephen Harper, but we're also the party of Brian Mulroney. And I came of age in the PC party of the 1980s and 90s. I believe in the principles on which my party is based, and I want to fight for that kind of a party, and that's why I'm in this race. So you want to bring the progressive back to the conservative party? That's right. Interesting. Okay, well, hopefully... Uh, you can turn the conservative leadership race from a gong show to a chong show. <laughs> all right, Michael Chong, everybody! Catch all the latest from this season of 22 Minutes. Subscribe to CBC Comedy Now and watch.